Thank you for joining me today. My name is Richard Schneeman. Today I'll be introducing you to the Likeable Gem. The Likeable Gem allows your Ruby objects to be liked using Redis. We use the Likeable Gem on Gowalla to power a feature that we call Loves. Here we have uh, different stories and you can see that, that a story can be loved and we can show the number of people who have loved it. Uh, we have other different items that can be loved. We have, have comments. Um, if I uh, click on a heart, then it increments the count and it also records the fact that I have loved this item. Uh, so to do this, Likeable uses uh, Redis. Redis is a very, very powerful key value uh, store, a very fast key value store. And so by doing this, we can have many objects on our page, hundreds of different objects, um, all displaying a lot of like data, how many people have liked it, uh, how many of your friends have liked it, uh, if you have liked that. And um, Redis gives us the ability to show all of this in a very fast way um, without really uh, affecting uh, performance. So if you're interested in using the likable gem, on your own project, uh, you can uh, go and check out this example likable uh, application that I've created. It uh, it's a blog post, so we have a just you know simple name and a, uh, a body content of the blog post, and we want to come in here and actually allow users to like it to say, hey, you know this was a great blog post. I really enjoyed it. So to get started, we're going to need to go to our gem file. First you want to gem likable. Once you've done that, we can uh, run bundle install. And see here that likable uh, is installed. Once you've done that, we need to uh, tell likable where it can find Redis. So we to do this we can go into config initializers and create a new initializer for likable. And we can set up likable by uh, passing a configuration block. And in this situation, Redis, uh, it's just the default Redis configuration um, that I have running so I don't have to pass in a host name or a, a port name or anything along those lines. Um, and you will need to get uh, Redis up and running on your local machine. Again, uh, redis.io uh, can, can help you out there. Uh, so now that we have Likeable on our system and it knows how to talk to Redis, uh, I need to go and actually tell my models which one of them can be liked. So here we have our blog post model. Um, so I can include Likeable this will allow it to be liked. I also have a user model and I want it to know that it can like things. So we're going to include likable user methods. There we go. And that is all the back end I need. Um, I want to restart my Rails server and to uh, capture that uh, initializer and now I can uh, start displaying information about the items that are liked. So we'll go back to that same view that we had previously. We will put in our like count. And this can be the like count per each blog. There we go, post and, and like count is a method that we get for free. Um, using the likable gem. So if I refresh this page again, should see the changes I made, and here we go. Our like count is zero, uh, which is exactly right. We haven't had anybody who um, has liked this item yet. Um, in addition to that, we can have some other information, such as displaying whether or not you have liked it. So have, oops, I guess that's uh, likes. There we go. Um, so you have not liked that. Uh, 
All right, so we have the back end set up, but we don't have any way of actually getting those likes uh, to be saved to our post. So we'll need to do three things. Um, first, we're going to need to create some routes. After that, we'll need to create a controller. And uh, finally, we'll need to add in a button in order to save that. So first off, we will uh, make a route. And uh, we are going to want to send this to a likes controller, the create action. Uh, and we're going to want to have a uh, path helper here, call it a like. All right. So we've got our route set up. Um, we also want to come in and generate our controller. So Rails G controller. Uh, and we want to make this the likes controller. Perfect. So we come back into our app, our controller. We have our likes controller. And here you, here you see um, this is where we need to put our code. So we want to have the ability to create likes, so we will have a create action. Um, similarly, when we set up our uh, routes, we we made this a post. Um, it needs to be a post as opposed to a git, uh, because we are actually setting data on the server. Um, so likable is really convenient in that you can use uh, many, many different uh, types of things, types of objects inside of your system that can be liked for, you know, comments and stories and highlights, all of these different things can be liked. So um, first thing, uh, first we'll need to actually find the object uh, that we want to like. So we can do that by using find by resource ID. And uh, this is going to take in parameters. First prim is going to be resource name, which looks like I misspelled that there. Resource name. Uh, second parameter it's going to take is the resource ID. Um, and the resource name in the situation of a blog post is going to be, the, the class is going to be a, uh, tell us that we are looking for a post. Um, the resource ID, if it, say we want to like the first blog post, is going to be one. So there we go. We can set that to the target, and then we can say current user. Uh, they're going to like the target. In this case, it's going to be our that blog post. And then we can redirect to back and give a notice. There we go. Um, so here we have our uh, our controller. It if we if we hit this controller it should create a, uh, a like. We have our routes all set up. Now the only thing left to do is um, add a button. Um, or a link. So here we're going to go back to our view and add a link to helper. And uh, we are going to use the like path and we need to manually pass in those two different parameters. Uh, resource name, which is going to be our post.class. And then we also need uh, resource ID, which is going to be post.id. And finally, we, we want to specify that this uh, link is not a normal link. We are going to be using a post method on it. Uh, there we go. So if we refresh our page, um, we now have this like it button. So cross your fingers, we're going to click it. There we go, success. So you can see here that we have this uh, this blog post and um, the like count has gone up by one as well as um, asking does this user, um, the currently logged in user, uh, which is me, does indeed like this blog post. Uh, so hopefully today you've seen 
a little bit of uh, how you can incorporate Likeable into your system. Again, it is um, incredibly performant. You can check out the README for um, how to set up a delete action um, or an unlike action. And, um, you know, definitely feel free to browse over to Goala and see how we have chosen to use this feature. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and have a great day.